In this video, we want to see how to use the leg rule to find the length of a missing segment in a right triangle. So we have triangle ABC below, and angle C is a right angle, and CD is the altitude from vertex C, and we want to find the value of X, which is basically just the length of line segment BD. Now for this question here, we want to use the leg rule. Uh, the reason why the leg rule works is because when we draw an altitude from the right angle of a triangle, the altitude will create two new triangles that are also right triangles that are similar to the original triangle here. So these three triangles in this diagram are all similar. So we could set up this proportion here. Now the proportion could be expressed in words or symbolically with letters here. So whichever one you find to be easier is the one that you'll use. So in this situation here, we have the length of segment BC and CA, which are the legs of the big right triangle. So we could use those two values to find the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. So we're going to find the length of the entire segment BA. So we could call that lowercase c because it's opposite of vertex c. And we could say that 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to c squared. And once again, c is the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. And to solve for c, we just take the square root of both sides. And C is going to be equal to 13. There's 25 plus 144 is 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. So what we could do is we'll just label the hypotenuse. This entire segment here is 13 units long. So that's this quantity here in our leg rule. Now, to find the value of X, what we have to do is we're going to use the formula. And we identify that 5 is one of our legs that we're going to use because the projection of this leg is X, which is what we're trying to find. See how like this leg is connected to the segment X, which is what we want. Um, if you want to use the letter form here, you, we're going to be using the formula C over A equals A over X. But if you want to use the verbal representation, the hypotenuse is C over the leg A is equal to the leg A over the projection, which is X, the segment BD. So if we use the formula, we could set up a proportion and solve. So the hypotenuse is 13 over the leg 5 is equal to the length of the leg, which is 5, over x, the projection. So once again, if you'd rather use the letter representation, you can. Another thing to be mindful of is that the projection is always part of the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. So that way you don't confuse which segment is which. So the projection, once again, would be part of the big right triangle. If we wanted to use the projection of this leg, so let's say this leg here, 12, we would use segment DA. And that would represent the uh, projection of the leg down here. So now to solve for x, all we're going to do is we're just going to go through with the algebra. We have 13 times x is equal to 25. So to solve for x, we're just going to divide by 13. And since the form of our answer was not specified, we could just say that the true answer here is 25 over 13. But if we wanted to ex express our answer as a decimal, let's say we want to round to the nearest tenth, we could also say, also say like x is roughly equal to 1.9 units. Okay, but we'll go with the exact version here because the form of the answer was not specified. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below, and thank you for watching.